Righto. Now this kerosene heater. Um, I got this from the scrapyard, obviously. Because um, I saw there was three of these there. A Kastetna, which is a hand crank sort of photocopier. If times were better, um, I would have brought it myself. But I called up someone else I know. And he brought uh, the other two of these. Um, the Kastetna and another scientific item that he, cause he collects scientific stuff. So the scrapyard decided to give me this as payment, which is nice of them. Um, so I've just got to see if it's going to fire up. It's got some kerosene in it. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll find out. Um, it's not a normal wick type one. It's actually more like the stove that I did. Oh, that's thanks to the champion. I did that gasket. Nonetheless, it's a separate video. Um, it's rather odd in being it is, yes, just like the stove I did. It's got the separate the tank you pump up and pressurise, so I'll clean these leaves and crap out. Oh, what is it made by? Patent in Australia, patent da 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 da. A product of J. Gamble Proprietary Limited, Spring New South Wales. Oh. Yeah, it's got the use only BP Coral light Lighting Kerosene. Interesting. Nonetheless, so I'll clean the leaves and crap out of it and. This should go. The wick for is already soaking meth on the bench. Um, yeah, get into it. Rightio, I swept it out, killed the resonant spider, which is quite common, um, and did the usual thing like I did for the um, stove, well, similar version, which is, if I can get that out without burning myself, which is that wick there. We're soaking in metho. Obviously it's a heater on a heater. Anyway, that, that wick there was sat in there, lit it on fire. So once it's on fire, come around the back here. It doesn't go out. Come around the back here. Yeah, open that valve there, which is my problem. I was going for crazy, nothing was happening. First, I put a bit of oil down the tube there because that seal always goes. But nonetheless, you first open that valve there and that valve there. So when the metho is burning and then the metho is nearly all gone, you close that and start pumping like hell. Which is, as most people will find these old sort of set up style things go, knows. You pump crazy like crazy. And then, with a woof, I had light. I don't know how long this kerosene's been in there. I haven't cleaned the jet tower or anything, so it's going quite well considering there's quite a amount of heat coming off that already. Um, that's meant to close, but the spring's stuffed. It's a cos. cosy glow. Compact. Cozy glow. Oh, what am I thinking? No wonder they sack me. <laughs> you can tell I'm still bitter about being sacked. That happens. But that's quite working quite well. No, yeah, well, I got that because I don't like lighting the fire all the time. Well, it's just easy to light this. Well, sort of. Um, I can get a bit of waste kerosene, and let's face it, we're going to put a bit of diesel on there. That's probably not good enough for the engines. And cooking oil, too. As Phil, Phil, the other bloke that brought these, makes the cook, cooking oil kerosene. So it'd probably make my smed shed smell like chips. But nonetheless, she goes well. It's just the four burners. There. I'll see if I can bring it up or down. What's that way go? That seems like it's going up, I think. The jets probably could use a clean. I don't know how you clean those style jets. You probably pull it right apart. There's some heat coming off that thing already. I wonder if that way's down. Obviously that way was down. Oh, 
Might run out of kerosene. Or might not add too far open. That seems about perfect there. Hmm. Not bad fine for nothing. Right. I can get off to another thing then. See you later.